the German Frenzel, with who I after the war had an interview. He told the women and children go in the direction of this fire. He left. And now he started to ask the men who's a carpenter, who's a mechanic. And I was no mechanic. What could a 15-year-old boy be? But I didn't want to listen so much. And wherever the Nazi moved, my eyes went after him. And I really believe, I really believe that um, my strong will, I, I believe that people could be influenced, that something is between people, some interaction. You don't need to say it. And I felt that actually I influenced the German when he was moving back and forth and my eyes met. And my strong will said, please take me inside. He stopped, looked at me, and said, come out, you decliner. I should come out. And I still believe that this was my strong will. I, something was which emitted from me to him. I still really truly believe. And uh, he told me to go out. My father didn't want to go out. He beat him. And later, he has, when he assembled about 40 people, he told the rest to go the same way they bombed him. And they left. And this way I started to work in Soviet. We knew there were already Germans killed. We knew already it's going on. So we just hoped that nobody unexpectedly comes to a place where he doesn't supposed to come and finds out what happened. If that is it, then we all killed and lost. So somehow we're lucky with that. The, we killed these Germans wherever we worked. And uh, we, everything went accordingly to the plan till we came to the main gate. No, we could. It, people ran, ran all over. So the whole camp knew already what's going on but by then. So some ran on the mines, got killed. Some people didn't run at all. They gave up. They didn't want to run. They, they just gave up. They, they, they just uh, waited till they get killed. They, but the younger people, most of them, and whoever was courageous enough to run, they ran away. And then a lot ran on the main gate. Now we started to run. And we were next to the barrack, and then I saw Frenzel with a machine gun. And he started to shoot. And the more people were running, and I, I would ever to hold back because I afraid for the machine gun. And I figured, here is that. Here is a, maybe something. So I pulled Selma's hand, and we ran through, and somehow some fell, and we made it through the, through the gate. because the moment I went through this hall, at that point, the fence onto the heaviness of the bodies of the people climbing collapsed and pinned me down. Now I realized that this was my luck, because while laying under the fence, people stepping over me, I've seen bodies taken apart by the mines. And later, when everybody went through, I did try to climb out and wasn't able because the barbs that embedded in my coat. And uh, I had look like I had a leather cord because I picked it up from the storerooms and didn't go too deep. But I did slid out from this leather cord, I left the cord onto the barbed wires, and I was running. And I was probably the last one. I did fall down a couple times, I remember, on the field. I thought I'm hit, but I did get up and run it until I reached the forest. <laughs> 